Hey everybody, well, after trying to review this figure for over a week and basically having a severe case of PTSD, my god, I still have bad memories of it, I have decided to review something that puts a little bit more of a smile on my face. I am doing the first non-transforming uh, review of this uh, type. And basically, I am reviewing the War for Cybertron Siege Refractor 3-Pack Crimzeek. This is a little accessory, and to be honest, I don't have uh, any traumatic flashbacks trying to review this figure. Let's get on to it, shall we? Sometimes, even a little piece of plastic that has no articulation can sometimes bring a uh, smile to somebody. And this is the case with Krim Zeke. I did not realize how much I like this figure until I uh, took a little bit of time to kind of just look at it and examine it. Because the minute, if you know me, the minute I normally get these figures out of their package, I normally put them on a shelf and that's kind of it. So I'll basically have like a passing glance but after I decided to forego reviewing this figure, I need I wanted to do something nice and easy, basically. So I was looking at my shelf, and I was wondering, like, what could I do a quick and easy review on? And this guy is what was looking at me. He's basically looking at me like, Jeff, please, buddy, do a review of me. And boy, am I glad that I actually am going to be doing that review of this guy. Because this guy actually has uh, has interactivity, which I was not aware of until I was doing some uh, research online about this figure. And I'm going to explain to you what that interactivity is later in this video. But first, as always, if you like what you watch, which I hope that you are, feel free to click that like, the subscribe, the bell, click all that stuff. And you'll be alerted when I release more Transformers content, or if you're a fan of Unsolved Mysteries, Unsolved Mysteries content. Or I do even reaction stuff from time to time. But yeah, so enough about that. Enjoy these commercials from the 1980s, and I will be right back. The wizardry of Lucas. The mastery of Kovala. The phenomenal music and dance of Michael Jackson. Captain EO. In spectacular 3D. Coming September 19th to Disneyland and Walt Disney World and nowhere else in the universe. Sometimes bigger isn't always better, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the case with our friend Crimzeek here. Uh, due to his small stature and the fact that he is not always, uh, rep always produced by Hasbro. Okay, let's get him a little bit closer. There you go. I know that. Ah, there you go. Even though he is not that produced uh, often by Hasbro, when something like this comes out, it, it's a, it's a time to celebrate a little bit. And the fact that he, you know, if you put him on next to some other Transformers, it actually tends to make your collection look just a little bit brighter, I guess you could say. But yeah, this guy is clearly clearly the proof that it doesn't you don't have to be big to always send a great a good message. Basically, anyway. If you are looking for Krim Zeke, this figure was actually, or this accessory, was part of the War for Cybertron Siege Reconnaissance 3-pack. Uh, it, uh, it was all three, basically, all three refractors, which I freaking hate. I prefer the term reflector. Well, Jeff, his name is technically Refractor, according to Hasbro. Yeah, and I prefer to call him Reflector. So, yeah, bite me. Anyway, so if you're actually just wanting this figure, you're going to have to pay. Uh, it's a little bit of a high price. Granted, you're getting three deluxe class figures. On uh, on Amazon, you can find this figure if you are the set. If you are not, if you don't care about uh, Amazon Prime, you just want to buy it from a third party or whatever. 
they're actually selling it for about $69.99 plus uh, whatever shipping is. However, if you are a member of Prime, it'll cost you about $20 more roughly, give or take, after taxes. So it's basically up to your choice how you want to uh, buy this uh, set. Sadly, they have never, 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 ever released this figure by itself. And which is kind of which is kind of sad because of the fact is that it is actually a very nice uh, accessory for your figures. Now, when it comes to this guy, I mentioned how Crimson has some uh, interactivity, and here I'm going to show you exactly what that interactivity is. Okay, so regarding the interactivity, this figure actually has. I know you can't see it because he's so small. He has some ports on his feet that can you can actually hook him up to another transformer that has the same kind of matching ports. So I have our friend Shattered Glass uh, Ratchet here. This is from the two pack that I purchased uh, earlier uh, this uh, fall. But anyway, so basically, like I said, you just have to kind of mat match him up. Oh God, my eyes are. Uh, there you go. Hold on. If, if the peg is long enough, they kind of, yeah, let's see here. Well, it fits on the gun, though. Here, let me. There you go. So you can actually hook him onto, you can hook him onto a, a, a port that fits. You have to just make sure that it's not kind of, uh, for some reason, it looks like they, they kind of, uh, kind of sanded down the port on his shoulders but yeah as you can see you can hook him up to your gun and make it look like that you're you're firing crim zeke at optimus prime or whatever or megatron it is a i didn't realize that this figure or this accessory had that interactivity until i looked on uh, amazon not amazon on tf wiki so I could get some information about this figure. And it said that he was blast. They have him labeled as a blast effect. Which is neat. It's kind of neat that this little pint sized terror. Is actually listed as. Uh, as as a, basically a blast effect. But yeah. So you know. When it comes to. Hit, you know, here are some pictures. When it comes to the pictures. Basically. He, you know, he is a semi-transparent yellowish with red eyes and mouth. And, uh, yeah, he looks pretty nice. Like I said, he he looks cool when next to other Transformers just because it really emphasizes that height difference. I mean, like, when you're, if you're standing him next to a Del uh, Voyager, wait, no, I think he's a oh, this guy's a deluxe class. It really goes to show you exactly how short this guy is. This guy is freaking small, and it, so it makes the Transformers look even bigger when compared next to uh, Krem Zeke. But yeah, so that was the unveiling. I hope that you liked it. When I return after these commercials, it will be my unboxing, which I'll show you what came in the box, which is you know, how much, but I'll, show, I'll be right back. High C, high C, it tastes so wonderfully, wonderfully, and all that vitamin C, you're gonna love high C, there's enough high C for lunchtime and snack time with a high C 9 pack, so pick up high C 9 at a time and wrap up a great value in 6 great tasting high C flavors, you're gonna love high C. All right, here is my favorite part of the sh of the video. It's the uh, unboxing and everything. But sadly, since I, ac I actually got this set quite a long time ago, I got it back in 2019 when it first re uh, released. I this was long before I even started doing any kind of Transformers content on YouTube. So I never figured I'd be saving uh the, the packaging or the receipts or anything. So all I basically have uh, to go off of is some stock photos of what there was uh, when, you know, when, you know, I got it. So basically the box, I actually loved this box. The box is supposed to be like 
the front, if I understood correctly, of the camera or, you know, of refractor or reflector, as I like to call them, the front of reflector in camera mode. The, uh, it was kind of, I think it had kind of like a little holographic kind of shiny aspect to the front of the box, which I loved. I, the, one of the biggest mistakes that I have is I did not save this box because at that time I was more interested in the figure itself. And, uh, I, I do appreciate a good box. I am not a box collector, but I can admit when I see a nice box, uh, for example, here is a box that I still have near me. I made a video yesterday, but uh, this is the Doom and Destruction. I love the artwork on this. Even though I love the artwork on this, it doesn't mean like I'm going to save the box. Sooner or later, the box is going to get thrown out. But I just wish I had more time to look at that package. But at the time, I'll be honest, at the time, I was more interested in the figures itself. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but in the background behind me right there in that in my photo photo tent or photo box, whatever you want to call it, I actually have the three uh, figures, the three refractor or reflector. I keep saying ref refractor. Mm. It's reflector, Jeff, reflector. Anyway, so the, the in the box, you basically get three or you get uh, you get the three reflector figures. Now, if I understood correctly, I think these are all done in there. IDW colors. I may be wrong about that, so don't correct me. Or go ahead, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think that these are their IDW colors, or possibly like their mail away colors that they had back in old G1. Because originally Reflector was uh was a, a mail away figure, and I remember when I was younger, I wanted Reflector so much. So every time me and Mom would go to KB Toys. They never had Reflector. Little did I know that Reflector was never really going to go to KB Toys because he was a mail away. But if they had Reflector, it would have been one that I would have wanted. I loved Reflector on the cartoon. Here are what the figures look like out of the box. Uh, Crimson snap pictured here. But basically, everything that basically came with Reflector, the, the base Reflector in Siege is what came with these figures. However, the difference is that these figures also came with some additional uh, additional accessories, whereas Reflector came with a blaster and a shield. And that is about it. Like I said, I wish that I you know had more uh, more images of what there was when I opened up the box, but I never thought I'd be doing this. You know, so but yeah. So when I return, it will be my, my review. This is actually going to be a quick video, I'm hoping. So, yeah, up next will be the review. Red Lobster presents new seafood trios. One, two, three, your favorites from the sea. Six new seafood trios, all irresistible. And with half of them priced at $6.95, it's just... One, two, three. Like broiled Boston bluefish, succulent scallops, and sizzling shrimp scampi in one delicious dish. And even a kid's trio at $1.95. One, two, three. New seafood trios only for a few weeks, only at Red Lobster. Next, we have the review of this figure. Due to this being such a, you know, a, due to this just being an accessory, I'm not going to do like a full, like, a review video, kind of like what I normally do with full size Transformers. So basically, I'm just going to kind of give you my positive and negatives because this guy is, he is so awesome, but. The, there's just not really much I can do with the figure since it's kind of just a fixed piece of plastic. So normally I do a positive and negative, and if I have any pet peeves, there's a pet, you know, then I'll post the pet peeves also. There are no pet peeves with this figure. So we're going to start with the positives, ladies and gentlemen. The coloring. I love the coloring. Uh, I looked online on TF Wiki, and the figure is just a little bit brighter and yellow, but I love this coloring. For some reason... This uh this coloring the the transparentness of the plastic it just really overall makes the figure look nice. The size, as I mentioned before, if you put this figure against uh another uh, transformer, I think I keep get, I think this is a deluxe. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but if you put against another transformer like larger than core class, so let's say a deluxe 
Voyager leader. I'd love to see what this thing would look like against the Titan, like the, the Nemesis behind me. But you can actually see how the, just the size difference. Holy fucking cow. It, 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 is, it is small, you know. I love the trans... I already said it before and I'll say it again. I love the semi-transparentness of this figure. It really makes this figure look like it's electricity, you know. Like, you can't see electricity. But I like how they did this. I like it a lot. As I showed earlier, this figure is actually a blast effect. I didn't realize that until I looked on uh, TF Wiki. I thought it was just a piece of plastic, you know, like a nice accessory display piece. But this sucker actually has some uh interactivity with it being a blast effect now you just got to make sure that the post that you're going to put this guy on is actually long enough for it to stick into the port on this guy and finally it's an awesome accessory if you can get past the fact that this is just an accessory it does not have any you know it doesn't have any articulation this is literally something you can put on your shelf or whatever display piece you have and it's just going to stand there if you can get past that, then this is going to be an awesome accessory for your collection. However, however, ladies and gentlemen, there are, as with every positive, there are some negatives. There are some negatives. If you are simply wanting from Zeke, as of recording this, this, this figure, I'm not talking about other versions, but this figure itself has never been sold by itself. If you want this figure, you're going to need to buy the set. And that kind of spins off into the other negative. As I was uh, getting everything ready for this review, I thought I would go to eBay. And sadly, nobody is selling this little guy by himself. I think that if they were still going to sell this guy by himself, it would probably cost a pretty uh, arm and a pretty, pretty penny, I guess you could say. But yeah, this guy, this guy is, you know, he, he, he's going to be hard to get if you're trying to just get the figure by itself. I would personally say that if you really want this figure and you want some other good figures like those guys behind me, you may want need to just kind of fork out the money if you, you know, want to get this guy. Plus, you'll also get three awesomely colored reflector figures. Let's see here. When it comes to my final thoughts. I have to uh, basically take in everything that I kind of talked to you about, the price and all that. And uh, it, it, it's, it's, if you're wanting just this figure, you're going to have to fork out anywhere between $69 to $88. Now, that's, that's not only for this figure, the success figure, but you also get the three reflector figures. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to put, pay a little bit for this guy if, if if this is all that you're wanting and like i said 69.99 plus shipping and taxes and all that on amazon or you get prime for with free shipping uh plus tax though so that you gotta have you have to keep that in mind and There you go. The The thing that may turn off a lot of people is that this figure is not articulated. It is a static accessory. It was, it's the equivalent of like uh, the Matrix of Leadership that came with the Megatron spoiler pack from uh, the War for Cybertron trilogy or the, uh, God, what should I call it? The, oh God, I can't recall what it was called. Not Vector Sigma. The Allspark, I think that's what it was. It was also another little accessory that came in the uh that came in the spoiler packs. I think it was also for Megatron. I may be wrong about that, so don't correct or go ahead and correct me if I am, you know. But this guy does not have any articulation, so that could be a turnoff for people. But if you want something that looks nice on your shelf or your table or whatever, and you don't care about you know articulation this guy would look pretty nice with your figures and like i said before it will it also shows you know it helps to show the difference in size between crimson and your transformers 
Okay, so now I'm going to ask you the question, ask the question, should you buy this figure, yes and no? And honestly, the answer is yes, if you can afford the set. If you can afford the set, because you're not just going to be buying Crimson, you're going to be buying three other figures. So, I, you know, you're going to have to keep that in mind. Is it worth the investment? And for me, it was. I love recolored uh, figures already. And so basically, when I bought, when I originally bought that set, I was wanting the reflector figures. And I'll be honest, I kind of just kind of ignored this guy a lot. It wasn't until, like I said, I wanted to do a quick and easy review because this guy brought back so many nightmares. I, I was able to sit and I took a look at this figure and I just realized how nice this uh, accessory is. But yeah, so if you can afford 69 to 88 bucks on Amazon, you may like this figure. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my review of uh, the War for Cybertron Siege Kremzeek accessory. I do want to say thank you to everybody who has taken the time over the last couple years to subscribe to me. It makes me feel good, honestly. And I hope that, you know, I may have at least given you a little bit of insight about this character or this uh, accessory. Do you have this accessory? Do you not have this accessory? Did you know that this figure could be actually used as a blast effect? Uh, in the comment section, let me know what you think. As always, if you like what you watch, which I hope that you are, feel free to click that subscribe button and, you know, you'll be alerted when I release more content. Until next time, my name is Jeff, a.k.a. Jeekers, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.